We know, we've heard about that, that you are in the middle of the impeachment investigation into President Biden. You officially got a letter from the president's counsel. Here's what they stated. He refuses to testify, and then he also called the entire impeachment inquiry investigation over. Um, what do you say to that? Well, they don't have any role in the decision making of uh, when the investigation begins or when the investigation ends. Uh, all they are supposed to do is answer our question. Now, we gave President Biden an opportunity to testify, just like we gave his son an opportunity to testify. Uh, despite the son going on numerous uh, television shows saying that he wanted to testify in public, we gave both Bidens an opportunity to testify in public. Both Bidens turned it down. To make it even easier for President Biden, we submitted questions in writing, uh, questions that revolved around what did your family do to receive the tens of millions of dollars from our adversaries around the world? Why did you lie when you said you never met this person and we've had three people testify that you had dinner with this person? Why did you lie when you said you never spoke on the phone to these people? And so on and so forth. Pretty much laid out all the evidence and gave President Biden an opportunity to provide answers. Uh, so instead of uh, testifying in public, instead of replying to our answers, they send a letter to me uh, basically saying that my investigation's over, and that's not true. We've proven uh, many crimes have been committed by the entire family of Biden. Now it's time to hold the Bidens accountable. Prior to holding them accountable, we wanted to give them an opportunity to clear their good name, to provide answers to the American people, which we all predicted uh, they're not going to do, and they're going to rely on their friends in the liberal mainstream media to continue to try to indoctrinate the public uh, that there's no evidence when, in fact, we have bank statements, emails, text messages, and sworn testimony uh, from many people in the Biden orbit that all testified that Joe Biden was the central figure in the family's influence peddling schemes with our adversaries around the world. Well, Congressman, I know putting together something like this is it's historic, though. It happened twice to mm -hmm. former President Trump here. Um, do you think it's going to come to a vote here? And do you think the constituents of your fellow Republicans, that they should be able to see where their uh, congressmen and women, where they lie on this topic. I know this is something you've talked about before. Yeah, I think it should. I mean, there's no doubt that Joe Biden has committed impeachable offenses. There's no doubt that Joe Biden has lied numerous times about uh, his knowledge and involvement in his family's influence peddling schemes. I don't even think the liberal mainstream media will deny that the Biden family was influence peddling. What they want to come back and say is, well, Joe Biden wasn't involved. And that's simply not true. This investigation was never an investigation of Hunter Biden. It was always an investigation of Joe Biden. We know Hunter Biden's a crook. But what we've learned about Joe Biden is he knew exactly what his family was doing. And he's been dishonest with the American people. And I don't think the average worker that's out there struggling to pay their taxes is OK with the fact that Joe Biden and his family have taken tens of millions of dollars from our, adver uh, from our adversaries around the world simply so that they could have access and favor with Joe Biden. And on top of that, the Bidens never paid a penny of taxes on any of that money, according to the IRS whistleblowers, Shapley and Ziegler. So now what's going to be done about it? And that's where, when I travel America, when I travel Kentucky, people are frustrated. We know what you've uh, found in the investigation, all this wrongdoing. But what's going to happen about it? Well, I'm trying to do everything in my ability to hold this family accountable. There will be criminal referrals. And I believe uh, that, that the president should be impeached. I mean, when you look at all of the bad policies, you can't impeach uh, for bad policy. But at the end of the day, our border's not secure. That's Mayorkas' responsibility. And Joe Biden's family has peddled the office of vice president and president uh, to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. And they should be held accountable. And it's Congress's job to hold them accountable. I'm doing everything in my ability to see that that accountability happens. Congressman, you are also uh, very adamant about obtaining the special counsel Robert Herr tapes. You already have, of course, mm -hmm. the transcript of that investigation regarding the president's alleged mishandling of documents, but you say you want the audio tapes. Uh, of course, you are being denied access to those at this time. Many people saying they're, they're, you're never going to get those tapes. What do you think could be in those tapes that you're not getting from the transcript? 
Well, I know what Robert Hur went through in trying to question the Bidens, because the Bidens just will not tell the truth. Uh, you go back all the way in time to when Joe Biden first ran for president, and he lied about uh, being first in his class. He lied about getting a full scholarship. Uh, he, he plagiarized speeches. All throughout this investigation, he's lied to the American people about his knowledge of, involvement in, and participation with his family in their illegal influence peddling schemes. And, and what I think the American people should see is transparency. They should see the tapes of how Joe Biden answered these questions. The Democrats did not hesitate to release the tapes of the January 6th uh, depositions and interviews. Why won't the White House do the same uh, with, with respect to the tapes of the interviews of Joe Biden's mishandling classified documents? Robert Hur, in his report, said what we first determined in our uh, oversight investigation, that Joe Biden mishandled classified documents. But where there's a disagreement with what my evidence shows versus what hers report shows is the timeline. Mm -hmm. We believe that Joe Biden discovered these classified documents uh, many, many months in advance of when the public uh, first learned about the disclosure of the documents. We believe that these documents were discovered months before mar lago was ever raided. Mm. So we believe that there's a lot of uh, other uh, factors, outside factors, influenced by the mishandling, by Biden's mishandling of classified documents, in addition to the fact that we believe that a couple of these documents could have been sent in the form of an email from the wow. president's mm. son, who was living in the house when those documents were mishandled and, and stored in the basement and in the garage to some of the people who were sending him millions of dollars. So there are a lot of questions left unanswered. We expect to get those videotapes. The fact that the White House will not let National Archives turn them over to us is another example of obstruction. And obstruction by the White House is an impeachable event as well. Well, certainly a lot of new information yeah, right we there. That. And uh, mm -hmm. Congressman, we appreciate the work you're doing. And um, please stop back here on American Agenda soon. House Oversight Chair James Comer. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.